Hello, everybody. My name is Al, and I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcad. Uh, today, I wanted to pick up on our 3D chamfer uh, topic. I want to um, talk about a different way to machine this where uh, we're going to use a multi-axis strategy, okay? So, you know, just like we did in the other example, we created our surface here, or our, our solid by extruding two surfaces and cutting them away from each other. I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, chamfer on this edge, uh, a little more pronounced just to um, allow us to uh, visualize this a little bit better. Um, let's see, let me undo this real quick and run my, uh, my stock wizard while we, uh, while we still have, um, the edges there. So let me repeat this. Okay, so one of the one of the options that we have in uh, our multi-axis strategies, and if we just take a look real quick, if we go to mill multi-axis, we have a surface-based uh, strategy, and we can do more between two curves. There's a couple of them in here. This is the one that I'm going to choose to use. I'm going to use um, uh, a ball mill. And uh, but I, before I do that, I, I need to um, I need to set up some geometry to work with. So I'm going to extract all the edges. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it for the whole model. And then from here, I'm going to remove the wireframe I don't need. I'm just window picking. Uh, selecting out the edges that aren't necessary for this example. I'll go to a front view and I'll grab these here. And again, the example that I'm choosing to use is more between two uh, curves. So uh, if I get back into my dialog here, we have our first curve, so I'll select this top profile. We have our second curve, so I'll select the bottom profile and then we have our drive surfaces and what I'm going to do is pick um, all the surfaces that make up our chamfer that we have going around this part here So now we have all of our surfaces selected. Uh, we're going to do a spiral cut. Uh, that's all the settings that I'm going to uh, work with here. We'll go to our tool, a uh, tool axis control. We're going to post this in three axis. And uh, that's it. We'll just go ahead and compute it. And this is going to generate our tool path. Uh, to do a spiral cut uh, to put this chamfer on the part, we can run this through a simulation. You know, and uh, I think that's, uh, you know, uh, a really valid point when it comes to our multi axis software. You do not have to have a, you know, four or five axis machine. You could be running a three-axis machine because you can use uh, the multi-axis strategies in three, uh, four, or five axis, depending on uh, which version of the software you have. But you can see uh, this morph between two curves is going to do a, ju uh, a good job of just uh, spiraling down, uh, following along the um, 
the fillet surface there until it gives us a nice, uh, nice clean finish on this. So, just a recap from the last video, uh, illustrating the multi-axis strategy. And uh, if there's any comments, please reply back to the thread or on the Facebook or YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys.